Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. So in the last episode, we made it here to the core, which I, th at least I think this is the core. And, uh, well, let's just say Alphys is kind of throwing a lot in here. My Mew Mew 2 review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2 is neither kissy nor cutie. It's trash. Zero stars. Okay. I have no idea what's going on with that. Hey, you, stop! We've, like, uh, received an anonymous tip about a human wearing a striped shirt. They told us they were wandering around Hotland right now. I know, sounds scary, huh? Well, just stay chill. We'll bring you someplace safe, okay? Huh? What is it, bro? The shirt they're wearing? Like, what about it? Bro, are you thinking what, what I'm thinking? Bummer, this is, like, mega embarrassing. Like, we, like, actually totally have to kill you and stuff. Royal Guard attacks. What? <laughs> um, let's clean your armor. You attempt to touch our, our Royal Guard 1's armor. Your hand slips off. Like, hands off the merch, team attack. Ah, ah, uh, yeah. Sweat pours from O2's armor. Let's clean your armor. You clean O2's armor. It's cooling dirt begins to wash away. Like perish and stuff. Getting warmer. Is he really healing me that much? Can't take it. Armor too hot. Much better. Looks bothered by something. You attempt to touch your hand slips off. Like, hands off. What? Stands guard. Oh yeah, I'm healing every other turn. I forgot that. You tell RG01 to be honest with his feelings. I, I... <laughs> Gay! <laughs> Sorry. I just, uh... D dude. I can't... I, I can't take this anymore. <laughs> Not like this. Like... O2, oh, I like, I like, like you, bro. The way you fight, the way you talk, I love you doing team attacks with you. I love standing here with you, bouncing and waving our weapons in sync. O2, oh, I like, want to stay like this forever. Uh, I mean, uh, psych, I got you, bro. A <laughs> oh, one. Yeah, bro? Do you want to, uh, get some ice cream after this? Sure, dude! <laughs> oh, one, two, we're looking at each other happily. Got a hundred gold for that. Gay! <laughs> Not, there's nothing wrong with that. Oops, wait, how's the human doing? Seriously, though, I was up to top ten shows that make you forget to do your freaking job. That was incredibly homosexual, I just want to say that much. And we're in that situation again. Ring. Okay, I'm back. Uh, another dark room, huh? Don't worry. Uh, my hacking skills have gotten got things covered. Oh, no. Are you serious? Oh, yes. Good evening, beauties and be gentle beauties. This is M Metaton reporting live from MTT News. An interesting situation has arisen in Eastern Hotland. Fortunately, our correspondent is out there reporting live. Brave correspondent, please find something newsworthy to report. Our ten wonderful viewers are waiting for you. Uh, dog, gift, book. I like this book over here. Reminds me of Undertale. Ooh, a lot. This video you found is dynamite. Though I don't make an appearance in until three-fourths in, but I like that. Appearing from the heavens like mana, slapping the audience's hunger for gorgeous robots. Oh, that's Metaton. Report this one. Attention viewers, our correspondent has found a video game. This action-packed video game is guaranteed to blow you away. So apparently, <laughs> that's Undertale on the ground right there. And I'm currently playing Undertale, and I could, if I took this home... 
I could play Undertale in Undertale, and then I could keep going until I got to this point, and then play Undertale while I'm playing Undertale while I'm playing Undertale. And, uh, I'm gonna let you finish, but this is getting insane. <laughs> strange enemies, strange allies, attractive robots, featuring up to six arbitrary dialogue choices at once. Correspondent, let's look, look inside the case. Those are red cylinders with burning fuses. Oh no, this game literally is dynamite! <laughs> I guess they were all- they were right all along. Video games do cause violence. Or at least this one's about to. But don't get too excited. You haven't even seen the rest of the room yet. Oh my, it seems everything in this area is actually a bomb. That dog's bomb. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Even my words are! Brave correspondent, if you don't defuse all the bombs... This big bomb will blow you to smithereens in two minutes. They, then you won't be reporting live any longer. How terrible, how disturbing. Our nine viewers are going to love watching this. Good luck, darling. Ring. Don't worry. I installed a bomb defusing program on your phone. Use the defuse option when the bomb is in the defuse zone. Now go get him. Dog diffused. I don't understand how that works. Great job. Keep holding the. Yeah. Try to go for a one in the bottom left next. Yes, I. Okay. I get it. No, I did. Oh my god. What do you mean, diffuse? Fail. It was in there! I'm going to die like this. I don't think there's enough time for me to do this. Bomb defuse. Come on. Got it. Is that all of them? Great job. Head for the center. I'm using uh, EM fuels to trap the glass of water there. What? No, I didn't mean. Got it. Bomb defused. Well done, darling. You've been de you've deactivated all the bombs. If you didn't deactivate them, the big bomb will explode it in two minutes. Now it won't explode in two minutes. Instead, it will explode in two seconds. Goodbye, darling. Uh, there's an issue. You're here. Ah, it seems the bog isn't going off. That's because while well, you were monologuing, I, I f fix, um, I ch change. Oh no, you deactivated the bomb with your hacking skills. Yeah, that's what I did. Curses, it seems I've foiled again. Curse you, human. Curse you, Dr. Elphis, for helping so much. But I don't curse my eight wonderful viewers for tuning in. Until next time, darlings. Wow, we really showed him, huh? Uh, hey, I know it looked kind of weird at first, but I really think I'm getting more, uh, more, more confident about guiding you. So don't worry about the big dumb robot. I will protect you from him. And if you really came down to it, we could just turn, um, never mind. Later. Uh, what was that about? Whatever. I made it through the wilderness. Yeah, I made it through. You didn't know how lost you were until you found me. Okay, so that's the core in there. I'm not quite there yet, that's what it is. Um, 
I noticed you've been pre kinda quiet. Are you worried about meeting Ascor? Well, don't worry, okay? The king is a really nice guy. I'm sure you can talk to him and with your human soul you can pass through the barrier. So no worrying, okay? Just just forget about it and smile. I have a feeling like that's not gonna work. Wait. Where'd I get old tofu from? Old tofu. Oh. Tutu. I read that as tofu. Okay. Uh I don't have her phone number. She forgot to give it to me. Let's try calling Toriel again. That really worries me that she's not picking up at all. Please select location. Uh Okay, then left floor three. All right, we're finally here. Um, I, I, I ended up buying a donut. I, I, I didn't want to, but that girl, even though I told her no, she kept staring at me in this creepy way and licking her lips. N now I'm out of cash. I'm gonna go back. Um, I have an idea, and I want to make sure I do it right. Alright, now I kind of want to drop through here again, so I'm going to show this off real quick. But today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Bah! There's no art in that actually mindless schlock. It's just timing-based drivel. Give me something that challenges the deepest reaches of my mind. You, you're young. You've still got hope. Yeah! Here, try solving this block-pushing puzzle. What? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Bah, forget it. This generation is really hopeless. Um... I'm confused. Uh, is there no way to do that, or did I just do it wrong? Oh well. Um... Yeah, I reread all these the last time I was here. I'm just trying to get back to do something. Oh, the human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Okay, stand behind me! Psst, make sure you give her this. She loves these. Hi, Papyrus! Ready for our extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi, I don't think we've... Uh, huh? Why don't you two come in? What? 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 Still living? Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you on their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. So are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? Ellipses. So you, why are you here? To, to rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Really? How delightful, I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? 
If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I'll never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. <laughs> Papyrus, you dick. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it! He thinks I can't be friends with you! <laughs> what a joke! I can make friends with a wimpy wizard like you any day! I'll show him! Listen up, human! We're not just gonna be friends, we're gonna be... Besties! I'll make you... I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else! <laughs> it's the perfect revenge! Why don't you have a seat? Papyrus, you're a brilliant man. I love you. <laughs> okay. Sit down and progress? Sure. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. That sword is huge, by the way. All set? What would you like? What? Hey! Don't get up! You're at the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Aim it with the arrows and select with Z. Uh, blatantly correct choice. A green cylinder, sickly yellow liquid, goes in tea. Un. <laughs> I, I could. I mean, who's gonna stop me? A sword is an acquired taste. I have two choices. I have Undyne and tea, and I'm gonna be honest, I love tea, but I also love Undyne. So which one do I choose? I choose Undyne. Are you hitting on me? Okay, well, I'm glad I got to choose that, at least. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Now take a moment for the water to boil. Awkward! Okay, it's all done! Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. Take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? <laughs> Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, uh, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. <laughs> You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hothead kid. Once to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard, so I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just... Well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little and tiny shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? 
So, um, maybe he can do this something, something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! Oh my... That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means that if I give you this lesson, it will become closer than you can ima ever imagine! <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! <laughs> she just picked me up by my hair and landed me over here. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists! How will you pound? I'm gonna be honest, I want to impress her a lot. You punch the vegetables at full force, you knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah! Uh, we'll just scrape this into the bowl later. But for now, we have the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the, they're the cheapest. <laughs> uh, just pound them. Just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? You throw everything in the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. <laughs> All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Stir harder! 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 <laughs> uh, let me do it! Uh, no, no, you don't stab it, you stir it. <laughs> That's the stuff! Alright, now for the final step! Turn up the heat! Let the stovetop symbolize your passion! Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire! Ready? Don't hold anything back! Hotter! Hotter, darn it! Hotter! Wait, that's too... Oh no. <laughs> Wait, no, I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it, I'm so sorry! Uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends. That's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated! My house is in shambles! I've ever I even failed to befriend you! That's it! I don't care if you're my guest anymore! One final rematch, all out on both sides! It's the only way I, re I can regain my lost pride! Now come on, hit me with all you've got! Yeah! Undyne is letting you make the first attack! <laughs> what? How is it, why is it so fast? You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force, you just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid sart... Sartorine stick, but... The way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human, it seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now, let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time.
But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. I'm in, in the meantime, I guess I'm gonna hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. <laughs> well, see you later, punk. I'm so sorry about your house, I didn't mean to. Sounds like only Fire lives here now. Oh my gosh, why? What, what, what? It's a living. It's not going to be a living to stay here because this entire place is burning down. Um. It's locked. But naps to book, why? Awkward, I'm working right now. I mean, uh, welcome to Book Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Once again, I'm saying Toriel, and I hate to say it, but I think the hairy guy is Asgore. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do now. <laughs> I think that's it for this episode. Actually, before we finish, I'm sure this has been a long one, but I want to head to Snowden and take Undyne up on that offer. Go hang out with Undyne and Papyrus for a minute. Because that was a lot of fun. Come again sometime, Traloha. Anything different? Let's continue to play Monsters and Humans. Why Brarby? No. Not, nothing will no, no do people there, at least. Hey, punk, what's up? Achoo! Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin! So why don't we stand in Grillbies instead? Because I hate grease! But you don't have any- you don't have a stomach. No, but I have standards! I'm so glad that you and Undyne are friends now! You two go together like pasta burning! Uh... Papyrus... What the hell? <laughs> Whatever. Alright guys, next time! Actually... Before we end this, I want to head over here and do a special thing so I'm prepared for the road ahead. Also, I should have taken the uh, snow uh, igloo. The igloo, that's the thing. I didn't mean to do this, but I'll check this out while I'm here. Um, I'm going to buy a bicycle and leave. Now, like I was saying... I'm going to prepare myself for the road to come. Welcome to Snowden, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is ADT. So guys, next time on Let's Play Undertale, we're going to be going back towards the core of the Hotland. We'll be finishing up there and... Well, hopefully finishing up there next episode. And then we'll be done. We'll be done with the Hotland and we'll be into the final part of the game. Asgore's Castle. See you guys then.